Welcome to today's cooking vlog where Gabriel is going to make us the delicious European pizza. Oh, this pizza is going to be on point and it's delicious. Look at the way he's grinding that dough. And what I like about his weekend when he's in the kitchen and he's telling me he's going to make me his European specialty. I'm always excited because I know that when he finish making them, it's going to be on point. Wait while, stay with us while I talk you through this process of him making this homemade pizza. And you can also try some. So he started by kneading the dough and he did some egg, he broke some egg into a plate, added some seasoning cube and now he has spread the dough he's adding the egg on the dough just to create a sticky base for the pizza and that's the pizza ready don't worry that's the second batch so I'm just filming the second batch so you can try it at home so usually the way he makes the dough he added just your butter your flour your pinch of sugar and pinch of salt and just add water to make the dough and then after that, he added the eggs like we saw earlier, wix the egg and just use it to cover the dough just to create a base. And now we are going to start our topping, but first we need to arrange them flat in our oven pan. So in order for your pizza not to stick in the pan, you need to first of all oil the pan because that is the base. Just add oil or butter in the pan so it will, it will come out nice and it won't stick back to the pan. Now we are going to do our toppings. So for toppings, a lot of people use different things. People use beef for top, toppings. People use chicken. People use pork. Any meat at all, you can use it for your toppings. In today's video, we are going to be healthy. So we are doing a mixture of veg and also of some meat. So we are using pepperoni and some mushroom so the mushroom didn't come out like this from the shop so we just bought those full round big mushrooms and then we sliced it to the size that we wanted so it's just a thin slice of mushroom and we are adding some pepperoni i'm saying we but i'm not i'm just doing the humora support i'm not actually cooking i'm also learning in the process because i've never made homemade pizza before and this pizza is it's quite special because it started from him making the dough the base usually sometimes i want to make pizza i just buy the base from the shop or pizza bread or something like that and then i just add some toppings but this one he made the dough from scratch and unfortunately i couldn't video when he was mixing the dough but it's quite easy like i said earlier it's just milk butter all-purpose flour or self-rising flour plain flour any flour flour can go so you just add some flour in the pot add a pinch of sugar a pinch of salt some butter just to give it that uh, mixture and add water or milk and just mix mix it when you're mixing it don't make, make it too thin make it a bit thick that was the mushroom that's the pepperoni and that's our pizza getting ready oh my god this pizza is pizza in if there's any word called pizza in, in english but i know you know what i mean now we are going to add some olive but he picked black olives so we are going to add some black olives you can add the green olives any olive is fine but for today we are going to add some olives and i do like the taste of this olive it gives it's just like when you add mustard to food of course we are not adding mustard to pizza but it just give it this strange flavor and this strange taste i always like olive is one of my favorite veg when i came to the uk before i came to the uk i've never had olive before of course i've had olive extract olive oil and all of those other olive different things made from olive but i've not had just the olive to eat and when i the first day i ate olive i fell in love with olive <laughs> olive 
has this unique taste that I like and I just can't explain it but if you've had olive before it's just like eating pickles it's so sweet and so something so it's I just like the taste now our pizza is ready I thought it was ready let's just add the cheese but hobby said no it's not ready so he's adding my Gino tomato he borrowed my tomato because he likes the puree the one the other ones we have from the shop is the chopped tomato and he wanted the puree so he's using my Gino my special Gino that I would have used to make stew or to make jello rice that's what he's using for the pizza but right let's see how it goes and that's the tomato puree so you can use any puree as long as it's smooth i'm not sure if you can blend fresh tomato and use but i think you can blend fresh tomato and cook it and just have just the thick puree base and now he's going to add some seasoning cube or stock cube so that's the same as no or maggi or stock cube seasoning cube any cubes but he's using that type and he just added some warm water from the kettle so now he's going to mix it the essence of having that seasoning or stock cube to the puree is just to give it the flavor and the good taste you know we've not added anything so far so th this paste is going to have the unique and sweet not really sweet but the delicious taste that we want so now he's just going to mix the tomato puree oh my god look at that puree and he's going to give that a good mix and what he told me is that it has to have the right consistency because sometimes some puree is thick but you have to mix it keep adding water and now i thought he was just going to pour it over but he said no there's a special way it's done and he's just going to sprinkle or splash it yeah he said splash he's going to splash it all over the pizza so it's not everywhere like when you have a bite you are not having the bite of tomato to Peru you're just you just it's just all over the place really so now he's sprinkling that wow this pizza is looking delicious and I like that it's tough with a lot of things it's not plain pizza so that means anything where you bite there is always traffic what I mean by traffic is that there is something you must bite <laughs> slow down something that will slow you down when you're eating so it's looking yummy already it's looking delicious now there cannot be a perfect pizza without grated cheese so now we are going to add some grated cheese to this delicious yummy looking homemade pizza wow i love this already can the pizza be ready already let's get started into diving into this delicious sweet pizza oh look at that isn't that lovely oh my god sprinkle some more cheese i like the pizza to be cheesy so when you're eating it is a bit it's not too hard oh my look at that i love this pizza already anyways that's him sprinkling the cheese on top and the pizza is ready ready to go into the oven anyways that was a preheated oven so it's not cold boom our pizza is ready look at that oh my god that looks nice the blend of mushroom olive cheese tomato puree and per pepperoni is yummy anyways the next batch we did we added some sweet corn and our delicious pizza is ready look at that and besides you can add as much veg as possible if you have some chicken you can add them to the pizza if you have beef you can add them to the pizza if you have more veg like carrot chopped carrots of course sweet corn green peas peppers you can also add peppers to your pizza and at this process you need to be careful don't cut off your finger while trying to divide pizza because that's not 
not part of the plan we are dividing pizza not our fingers so that's ready i can't wait that's my hand there carrying my slice i couldn't even wait for him to finish slicing pardon me but it looks yummy right from the beginning so i just have to dive right into the pizza rate this cooking rate this pizza would you be trying this at home rate our chef this chef i just love him thank you so much for watching bye